Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jake, aka Tag, and today we're back at again with my very favorite balloon cycle deck in the meta right now. I love having Ice Spirit in this balloon cycle deck, so whenever you go in for a balloon, usually your opponent will rush you opposite lane, whether it's with a Hog Rider or with a Ram Rider or something of the sort. And if you end up having an Ice Spirit, you can slow it down, and you can always nullify all damage from a Hog Rider with a Lumberjack plus Ice Spirit. Also, you can use Snowball on defense. Snowball on offense protects your balloon. When you go in for an offensive push with the Lumberjack, balloon getting it raged up, and then snowball your opponent's Mega Minion away, that balloon always gets another hit. This deck is one of the best decks in the game at the moment. I would rate it top three in the game currently. So check it out and let me know how it ends up working for you down below in the comment section. Let's go kick off the game with Bats. We'll see what's up, see what this dude wants to do. And he's going to end up going in for a Mega Minion. So we have to end up going for the Musketeer, same lane as the Mega Minion. Be able to kill that Mega Minion and give us some pretty nice counter push. We ended up seeing a Night Witch. So this is going to be a Golem deck, guys. This is going to be a little bit interesting. I need to go opposite lane since his Mega Minion's out of cycle and his Night Witch is out of cycle. He could balloon this. Like, he could nato this the King Tower. The balloon is going to end up... Ah, oh, man. He's going to rock it instead. So he was able to rock the balloon. Well played. Was able to wreck our balloon there. I was expecting him to go in for a Golem, but he didn't. Didn't, man. He was able to just get a nice interaction against our Balloon and our Lumberjack there. He didn't even take too much damage. I guess he played that pretty well. We're going to go Ice Spirit at the river. Get some damage there. He doesn't have Rocket and Cycle, so we're just going to go Cycle our Musketeer. And I'm back to Lumberjack plus Balloon here, so I could go opposite again. As soon as we end up seeing that Night Witch, I think that's going to be our best bet. Time and time again. Mega Minion's going to be really obnoxious. Fire Spirits are away. Lumberjack should get a couple hits before he rockets, and that's always worth it for us, I think. Because it's going to be a negative interaction against the balloon for him, right? Is he going to Ice Spirit right on top, or is that must going to get hits? It's going to get hits. Great. That's cool, too. Now we have a lot of damage on the right-hand side as well. Doesn't have Rocket and Cycle to kill our Musketeer if we cycle in the back. So everything is going our way, I think. He's obviously got Golem. 100% Golem. This is like the Royal Golem deck with uh, Rocket instead of Lightning. Royal prefers this with Lightning. I think Lightning is traditionally better because it's able to kill Musketeers easier. Also able to get a little bit better value against Inferno Towers. So, what are you gonna do, my man? So we're not gonna commit too heavily here. We're just gonna make sure that we defend. I'm gonna go drop our Ice Golem. Gonna go cycle two Musketeers and he's not able to hit both of them. So that's like the big thing for us. These two muskies are just going to give so much value. I can even go for a Lumberjack here. Oh, actually really well played on his end. Whoa. That baby dragon wouldn't have walked on that. If he hadn't done that NATO. Okay. Well played, man. Surprised. Really surprised by that one. We're going to go musky. If he rockets, then he has nothing on uh, the his deck to answer this. Because he just cycled his Mega Minion. Okay, so I was hoping he would rocket the musky. Didn't happen. End up going for a Barbril here. Tank for that Musketeer. And we have to play pretty aggro so then he's not able to go in for a Golem here. Okay, he did go for the Golem. But we should be able to win then. I'm optimistic. Maybe I'm optimistic, guys. I have to go for a Snowball. Otherwise, that Bat is going to wreck us. It's getting so much damage on our tower now because that Golem death damage. It's crazy. But we did get a ton on the other side too. So I'm going to go Ice Golem here, and I'm going to go Bats, and I think he's going to cycle something. Then we go Obsolete with Lumberjack and Balloon. So I think we debated him a little bit. Got Baby Dragon on the side that he didn't want to drop it. Now he's not able to get NATO value from it. I'm going to go in for a Snowball, and then the Baby Dragon's not helping him, so that's good for us. Just need an Ice Spirit, so then the Fire Spirits gets hits on that. We're going to end up doing the exact same thing again. Maybe we actually go in, though, if he doesn't drop anything. We'll see. Drops Baby Dragon again. Ice Spirit. Might have to go in for a Snowball, depending on what he does. Definitely want to go for the Snowball now. Just give me Death Damage. Just give me Death Damage, please. I'm going to have to go for the Ice Golem so the Baby Dragon latches onto that. Musketeer again. Man, this matchup is tough. This is an arduous battle here. He might just go in for a Balloon. Or a counter. He might just go in for a counter on my Balloon right here. Wouldn't surprise me too much to just see a Rocket or a Golem aggressive. I need the death damage so bad, so I'm going for the very aggressive snowball. Didn't pan out the way I wanted to, though. We need to keep up the aggro. 
If he goes in for the golem, he should lose. So that's what we're trying to make him do. Should be able to gradually like snowball cycle at this point. So when I go in for another rage up push, I'm going to go in for a snowball as well. I'm really trying to get this death damage. We're trying to knock the mega minion away. Did not work out. I have to go for the ice golem here so the baby dragon latches onto that. Probably should have snowballed the tower to be honest. Okay, we'll see what he does. I'm going to go in for a Lumberjack again. I'm probably not going to commit too heavily. I'm just going to end up going for the Lumberjack. Okay. I lied. We're going to commit very hardcore now. I have to go Ice Golem as well. So all of his units go into that. Bats around on top of the Baby D. This is really coming out of the wire, guys. I'm going for another Lumberjack. I have to go in for the balloon. He's going to rock it. Does he pre-hit the... Oh, he cheap padded. He cheap padded, boys. We might have him. I'm going to go for the snowball. We're going to knock that Mega Minion away. Can we win the matchup against it? Oh, let's go. We beat Mega Minion. We beat Nato. We beat Rocket. We beat Fire Spirits and Ice Spirit with the Night Witch. Every single one of his cards shot up and hit our balloon. But some way, somehow, we won with 26 seconds remaining. It was not a draw, guys. It was a victory for us. That feels good, man. That was a really crazy and long drawn out battle. GG and well played, bro. All right, we're gonna end up going for an Ice Spirit at the river. We're gonna see what's up. We're gonna see what this guy has in store for us. So far, he's not dropping anything at all. So we're gonna get that chip damage right out of the gate. Bats in the back, so he probably knows that we're running a fast cycle deck. He still hasn't shown anything, so it's probably gonna be Golem or a beatdown deck. We end up seeing the Inferno Dragon, so it could be Golem or Mega Knight. Probably going to be one or the other. Usually Mega Knight appreciates the Inferno Dragon because it doesn't have any other way of killing tanks. So I expect that. No, it's going to be Graveyard Splash Shard or something Splash Shard Remnants and then, you know, just going to be something akin to that. Maybe it could be Balloon or something with Freeze. We'll have to wait and see. Want to end up killing that Bowler and then go in for a Balloon here. He might go in for a NATO, but if he does that, I think it would be pretty aggressive. We'll see what he wants to do because the Musketeer is still going to be there. So he has to freeze. He has to freeze the Musketeer, but the Balloon still gets a connection. That's great. So after seeing the freeze, it could be Balloon from him as well. Really good amount of damage for us though. I like this. I like this start, guys. So if you guys notice how I kept that Musketeer alive with the Bard Barrel, super, super important. He baited out a freeze because he had to still deal with the Musketeer. Musketeer is incredibly overpowered if you keep it alive for a long period of time. It's going to give you way more than four elixir of value. So I could end up going in for a Lumberjack Rage and then Balloon. I don't know if that would be a bad play. Okay, if you're going to NATO, definitely not going to do that. I could just get away with Bats and kill the uh, Bowler now. Or Barbrill, that's fine too. Ice Golem, so then the Ice Wizard hits that, so he doesn't get tower damage. And I could go in for a Balloon, because he just went in for the NATO. He's not going to be back to it. I actually, as weird as this sounds, I want to go for a Lumberjack Balloon into this Inferno Dragon. I know that seems really wacky, but I think that's going to give me tower damage. I think he's back to it. If I go in for a Snowball, okay, he is back to it. He might get death damage, but that's a lot of elixir that he had to spend. Yeah, we still get death damage. Even after the double dragons and all of that, man. He has to play so aggressive, but then we just end up dropping bats, and that should clean up everything. I'm not going to go in for any small spells. I'm not going to overextend. Just going to make sure that I get great counter push again. So we end up going in for a Lumberjack again. We're going to go in for the Balloon, and I'm going to Snowball. After having the Rage Lumberjack plus Balloon, I think we could just win right now. Let's just go for another Snowball, slow down the tower with the Rage. Dude, Balloon is so OP. We're going to get Death Damage again. We're literally about to get Death Damage again. And we're keeping up the aggression, so then he's not able to go in for Graveyards. This is so infuriating for this guy. He went in for a NATO. He has to cycle four more cards. Don't know if he can feasibly get back to it because his card cycle is pretty uh, dramatic. Every single one of his cards does hit up, but man, this is tough for him. I'm going to go in for a snowball. Just want to get death damage. We're probably going to bait out a freeze. If he doesn't freeze, it just gets death damage. I'm not even trying to get balloon hits at this point because it's near impossible to get it towards the tower. Possible to get that thing locked on, you know? They go for Lumberjack. If he goes in for anything like a Freeze, then... Okay, he actually missed the Musketeer. If he hit everything, I would have went in for a small spell. But at this point, I can just go in for a Snowball on offense. And I think we win the game with that damage yet again. So GG, well played, and peace out. Obviously, looking at this, I don't end up having a great answer to Graveyard, if you look at my deck. 
I end up having a musketeer and I have bats, but he could freeze or poison them and then they're rendered useless. But you have double small spell, and then if you keep up the aggression, they're never really able to put together a cohesive graveyard push. The thing is, you never really want them to stockpile a boulder plus baby dragon in a huge push because then they just needle your musketeer into it and then you kind of die. So you need to make sure that you're keeping up the aggression, low elixir game, and just trying to get death damage in that situation, not even trying to get balloon hits. So when I go kick off the game with bats here, we end up seeing a dark prince, so it's probably gonna be either a double prince deck or a bait deck or bridge spam, one or the other. So what you got, man? What are you rocking or running for us today? So you got bridge spam with bandit. So you are gonna be a little bit of a savage. Are you running the P.E.K.K.A. variation or are you running the uh, standard prince one? I think it's probably gonna end up being P.E.K.K.A. after seeing the bar barrel here. So, definitely want to end up going for Musketeer in the back here. He probably doesn't end up having Lightning, so just want to end up going for an Ice Spirit as well. He's going to end up having Poison with this deck, I presume, usually. Yeah, there it is. So I can definitely go for a Barbarian if I want to. Make sure that we deny all damage here. And the Barbarian is out of range of the Poison. Very cool. He's not going to spam me on that side, right? He's just going to end up cycling minions in the back. Okay. So I'm gonna end up dropping my Ice Glove. I could Snowball here, but I think that would be a losing play because I need to save my Elixir. I wanna save it for offensive purposes, so then I potentially get Balloon Hits that I otherwise wouldn't. I'm gonna end up going for Bats here. I'm gonna end up trying to get through, and I have Snowball, I have Rage. I can definitely end up going for a Barbarian Barrel to clobber that Electro Wizard, and maybe we get a hit as a result. Maybe two, actually. Guys, do we get two? Oh, we do! That's what I'm talking about, boys. That's what's good. Oh man, that is so much damage. When the balloon hits the tower, you know it's a party. And dang, did that feel good. So, know that he's probably going to spam me after that. He's like, I took too much damage. We don't take kindly to sirs that spam me. though. So I definitely want to end up going in for a musketeer. He's going to poison it. I need to ice spirit and lumberjack here. Okay, definitely need ice spirit. So then it ends up hitting the P.E.K.K.A. and the battle ram. Going to go for high bats here. Could snowball this as well if I need to. Looks like I probably do. And the bats are going to get so much damage because we dropped them outside of the range of the poison. Notice how I dropped them up higher, knowing that he would poison, because I dropped the musketeer there. It was an obvious poison target. If I drop it as high as possible, poison doesn't encompass that. So we need to go Ice Spirit, we need to go Bar Barrel, we need to go Bats. And I wanted to go Ice Gloom and go Balloon opposite lane, but I just wasn't able to because he spammed me there. We go for another musketeer and just going to prepare for defense. Obviously, he's in a situation where I could just like potentially even get one death damage and win the game, like with the snowball cycle. So this is really, really good for me, actually. We know for a fact that he's gonna end up going for an Electro, and I'm gonna drop my Balloon in the middle because it gets there as far, uh, fast as possible, knowing that he doesn't have a building, I can do that. Usually you can't do that, but I just need death damage. You need death damage, I'm trying to get it really close to the tower. If I drop it off the side, it's bad because you know that they uh, don't have a building, so you don't need to do that luxury. You don't have to drop it so far off to the side to try to bypass or like try to pig push with a balloon. So always drop it here behind the chain. If you end up are playing a Tesla or a building cycle deck, but if you're playing against P.E.K.K.A., always drop it in the middle and drop your Ice Golem right on top of the balloon. So whatever they drop, will always target the Ice Golem instead of the balloon originally. If you don't have Ice Golem in cycle, sometimes you can just use the Lumberjack, but I prefer to end up having either or the Lumberjack or the Ice Golem. Otherwise, your balloon's just gonna get melted. We're gonna end up dropping an Ice Spirit here. We're gonna see what's up. This guy's gonna end up having a Barred Barrel and we'll see what he has. After seeing Barred Barrel and Snowball, you know, it's probably gonna end up being either a P.E.K.K.A. deck or a Balloon Cycle deck, because those are the most common decks that end up having Double Spell. He's going to end up having RG, though, after seeing the uh, Barb, so. So, RG Lightning, it looks like now. I could rush opposite, but we know he's going to end up having Furtis and Snowball and Mega Minion and Musketeer, so it's going to be a little bit of an issue. Oh, Graveyard, maybe. Graveyard after seeing the Poison. Okay, it's going to be Graveyard. It's going to be a little bit easier, then. Usually, uh, the, <laughs> the Barb's deck is going to be a lot more difficult to play against, if it's going to be the other one. But Graveyard's still difficult because you have to make sure that you're applying a lot of aggression. So here we go. We're going to try to uh, bypass this right now with our Balloon. Should bypass the Furnace. I don't think that Furnace is properly placed. So that should give me at least death damage, if not more. I think it's going to give me at least a hit, actually. He's going to Snowball? I don't know, man. All right. He barely got out of that one alive. He barely did, boys. But he did. When I end up going for Musketeer here, he's going to go for Graveyard. So he's going to be very ambitious with his plays. Obviously, I don't really think that was a good one for him. I'm just going to go Barb Barrel to kill his Musketeer. Bats are going to survive, and uh, yeah, Musky's still alive as well. 
So I can either go for an Ice Golem or a Lumberjack here. I prefer to go for the Ice Golem. Save the Lumberjack for my Balloon. As long as the Musketeer dies, then he's going to be in a good spot. So unfortunately it did die. If it had a little bit more HP, it would have been fine to uh, demand way more of a response from him. So he got greedy also throwing out the Barbell really, really far there. Usually they don't do that. Not enough going for another Musky. He keeps dropping in a spot that I can bypass if I drop it below the chain right here. If you drop it up higher, it does not bypass. So you need to make sure that you're always dropping it lower. Notice how I drop it like a little bit lower. And Lumberjack should rage everything up. Balloon should get to the tower. It's going to go Snowball. I think at least we get death damage. I'm okay with that because Musketeer is going to get damaged. This is always a pretty good transaction for us. He's playing really aggro. I can just end up going for a Barbrill. He's going to go in for... A lot of elixir. I can just go in for a ice golem here as well. The musketeer should lock onto that. We're fine. At this point, he didn't even touch the musketeer, so he's going to lose the game if he ends up going for a bad furnace again. Because this is going to be a much more formidable push. Okay, this is bad for him. By really bad for him, uh, I, this is there's no way for him to deny the death damage again. Musketeer is going to lock on. He has to drop barbarians. Now he probably doesn't have elixir. Musketeer will die to the barbarian now. And I can definitely just go in for a Lumberjack as well on defense against the Skeletons. Ice Spirit up top, so then the Barbarians go towards that. Notice how I'm not even using my small spells, because I don't need to. This matchup, like, it looks bad for me, but I'm dropping the Balloon in a spot that most people don't. So he's used to, like, GC players uh, probably dropping unoptimal Balloon placement, so he's able to get away with a lot more. But I'm not doing that for him. I'm not that nice of a person. I don't like giving free, uh, <laughs> free value, man. We're not Walmart here. So I ended up going for another Lumberjack, going to go in for the Balloon, and I just don't even care about anything besides death damage, and that should get death damage here. Especially if I go in for a Giant Snowball, have the Rage, he's going to go hit the Snow... He's going to hit the Snowball, but I just get death damage, this should be GG. Man, it's crazy how good of a win condition Balloon is with Snowball, it just doesn't seem fair. I'm going to isolate my Bats and my Musketeer, my Musketeer is behind my King Tower, my Bats are here, so what is he going to do? He has to poison them, but he's not able to hit everything, so... This game was incredibly straightforward and easy if you play it properly. Dropping the Musketeer behind your King Tower and then dropping Bats a little bit farther forward means that they can't poison everything either. And then the Musketeer survives, you get counter push, and you will win the game. So, JG and well played. Let's move on to the next one and let's keep asserting dominance.